Hey everybody, coming at you here again for uh, the newest iteration of uh, knives that every American should own. Um, this one uh, is, uh, you know, another uh, small little pocket knife, but um, I, I feel like it's uh, just another American icon that uh, every uh, every man should own. It's not the uh, the latest and greatest of uh, technology. It's uh, old technology. It is a slip joint knife. Um, you may have guessed the, uh, the brand and uh, pattern by, uh, well, of course, by reading the title of the video. And uh, by my hat here, it is the Case Stockman. The three blade Stockman. Super classic pattern um, that your grandfather carried. Uh, this one uh, is a newer newer model the case did like an instead of a shield they did an inlay of uh, their 2020 tang stamp they uh, update these um, tang stamps here every decade um, with with a, what of the the, uh, the font on which it says case double X then they have like a dot and star system that uh, you know if it has 10 dots that means there's 10 years of the decade um, so this was made in 2020 um, if there's like one dot left it'll be uh, 2029 so it goes it goes kind of like that but uh, I I just recently got this knife um, and it's been uh, it's been great having in uh, my pocket so far I've, I've I even you know I've been carrying uh, my uh, SOG CLXR um, sometimes in my my pocket which is a uh, you know a, a modern uh, knife with a pocket clip and uh, this is rode at the the bottom as a great kind of you know everyday task and uh, chore kind of piece whereas uh, you know that SOG is for a heavier duty task uh, but man what a classic kind of thing um, three blades so three times the fun right uh, you got that that nice clip point blade as your main blade and you have this sheep's foot thing um, as one of the secondary blades and also this uh, spay blade which is uh, the same you know type of uh, blade shape that they have on their trapper knives except this one's a bit shorter here um, I think the clip point blade comes in uh, just under three inches like 2.9 inches or something like that and and uh, the others are like two and a quarter inch long knives. Um, Case makes uh, a few different versions. They have this, which is just called the Stockman. They have a medium Stockman, which is a little bit smaller. And the, uh, the clip point blade on the medium Stockman is shaped a little differently it's it's a much more um, narrow blade doesn't have quite as as big as a belly um, as this one does here as you can see the scuffs I've, I have been using this thing I don't uh, case is highly collectible but uh, I mean I I use these knives I want you to use these knives if you watch videos um, that there there's newer videos um, that um, a guy uh, named Maury um, I guess he works in like marketing and sales for Case. Uh, he's done some videos with um, Smoky Mountain Knife Works and Blade HQ about uh, their their new offerings for 2021. And he he wants you to use these knives. He doesn't want them to sit on a a shelf or in a drawer to be collectibles. Use them. They're good knives. Um, now, I will say. I, I have several case knives and I have had some quality issues with my case knives. I've definitely, um, I've returned one to uh, the retailer, which I brought it, bought it from, and I sent two back to case and sent um, them a letter explaining my feelings on their quality and they sent me back a brand new knife which was perfect um you know they're a large production company they're spitting these things out left and right um so, so i guess they're uh gonna have some issues from time to time now i will say 
that they may have improved a little bit on their quality. Uh, the knives I both um, had issues with were from, uh, they had like 2018 Tang stamps, and I've gotten two with uh, 2020 Tang stamps now, and they have been perfect. Flawless, pretty knives. Um, if I did have one complaint about this particular one, and it was easy, easily remedied, so not a huge issue, is that the, the clip point blade came a little bit dull. Um, but it sharpened up right easily, um, just on a fi fine grit stone. I didn't have to use the, the coarse edge. Um, the, the secondary blades, the sheep's foot and the spay, came very sharp. Um, I, uh, I haven't really put the uh, spay blade to much use yet, but uh, this uh, the sheep foot blade, I, I haven't had that on any other knives. Um, so that, uh, that's been pretty cool. It's like a, an interesting tip, and then this just... 100% straight edge, perfectly straight, no no curvature or anything. It's uh, it's definitely interesting. I think I I think I sharpened a pencil with it the other day and uh, opened a pack of of uh, ground turkey that we made uh, turkey burgers for for dinner the other day. Um, I mean this this knife pattern has been around for a long time. I I wouldn't be surprised if Case um, has been making this since. Um, since they went into business back in like 1888 or 89, whenever they, they started, um, somewhere around that time period. Um, but when you think of like, just like the, the everyday American working man of the 20th century, maybe even a cowboy from the late 19th century, this was the kind of knife he would have had. Um, I guess they were originally made for farmers, um, from what I read. Um, this spay blade was uh, used in the old days. Maybe somebody still uses it today for castrating livestock. Um, I, I would think there would be better tools. I mean, have you ever seen the balls on a bull? I mean, that blade seems a little small to me anyway. But uh, I'm not in the business of... Uh, castration and animal husbandry but uh super useful knife um three blades gotta be better than one so you know you can get these all over the place i got this this particular pattern is a uh, an olive green bone um i got it uh on sale from smoky mountain knife work knife works uh, it was a saint patrick's day sale which put this like thirty dollars below the amazon price for this knife so pretty good deal um i mentioned the medium stockman earlier it also comes in a large stockman um the medium is the most prevalent you will find the most uh different uh handle scale colorations and materials with the medium stockman but uh i think they're a little small this one's uh, this one's a hair bigger and i think it's a real nice size um I debated between this and the large one. I think yeah, maybe a large one's a little big um, for for the for this style of knife. I, I do like bigger knives. Um, the the blade on the large stockman is I think a full three and a half inches, where I think this is just a hair under three or like right at three. Uh, could be wrong, but um, the large stockman does not come in a whole lot of patterns. From what uh, I've seen, the case sells it in. Uh, they're kind of famous uh, yellow Delrin um, with uh, chrome vanadium steel. This is their, their true sharp stainless steel, which uh, most of their uh, medium stockmans have. Um, they also have a uh, amber peach bone or some, something like that, amber colored peach jig bone um, and the large stockman also with their chrome vanadium blade. So, uh, that that one would be a real nice one to have. Um, maybe I'll pick one up or the the yellow Delrin. Both of those um, handle materials and colors are are very um, eponymous with uh, the Case brand. They've they've been making that for a long time. Um, that that pale yellow and like this amber peach seed uh, jig bone they call it. So I mean it's bone like this, just just different color. Um, but yeah, the uh, medium stockman available in all sorts of colors, um, and, and this is this is a slip joint, no lock, so the blades just 
held their springs and snapped down like so open it up with the nail nick you know classic classic pocket knife uh you know is it is it still applicable with all the fancy locking and flipping open mechanisms i mean are there are there knives that are easier to pull away yes there are of course there are we all know there are but i mean i just like I mean, it's a classic piece of Americana, and I like having it in my pocket. Uh, case made in, made in the USA since the 1800s, um, out of my native state of Pennsylvania. Um, just, just super, super cool. It's a pretty knife. They're pretty knives. If you get a classic, classic folding knife, classic slip joint, make it a case. Just do it. You know, there, there are other brands out there, but Case is, is attainable. You can get them at a lot of places. Uh, I've seen a few every now and then at Walmart, but uh, like Cabela's has them all the time. You can get some at uh, Tractor Supply Company. Um, they usually have a little, one of those glass spinny knife knife counters at the, somewhere in their store with a few Case knives in there. Um, or, you know, anywhere online, Amazon. Uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, Blade HQ. You can get case knives at all those places. Uh, so don't uh, don't rule out the stockman, man. If uh, if you're ever in a pinch and uh, you know one of your blades wears out or you break it off or something, hey, you got two more to use. So make uh, make one of the knives that you own stockman pattern.